Today on Ballistic Barbecue, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Choco Taco. Let's get going. Choco Taco's been in the news a lot lately. Klondike Corporation announced that they are no longer going to make this beloved ice cream snack. And it's kind of stirred up a lot of controversy. Some people are speculating that it was victim to council culture. Their official line is that during the lockdowns, other products that Klondike made were increasing in popularity, so they decided to discontinue the Choco Taco. You guys let me know what you think down below. We're gonna kick this off by preparing the filling for this Choco Taco. I am using chocolate peanut butter ice cream for my filling. The original Choco Taco used a vanilla, caramel, caramel, whatever you wanna say. It had uh, basically vanilla ice cream with uh, laces of caramel inside the ice cream. I love chocolate peanut butter. I'm going with chocolate peanut butter. So first thing I'm gonna do is take off the lid, lay it on its side, take a slicing knife, a nice sharp slicing knife, and I don't want this to be too, too thick. I'm just gonna cut right through the carton. A smaller cutting board, lay this right on the cutting board. I'm going to take my knife and just cut it right down the center. There you go. The filling for my Choco Taco. I'm going to run in the house really fast. It's August San Diego. I'm making this outdoors. Put this in the freezer. Now it's time to make that waffle cone shell, the batter for the shell. And I'm using a recipe that I found on Serious Eats for this part of the video. Start off with some egg whites, some white sugar, some brown sugar, some honey, roasted hazelnut oil, some spiced rum, kosher salt, some water, some baking soda. And we're just gonna whisk this vigorously now I have here sifted bread flour. I'm going to incorporate this in fairly slowly here. There we go, looking good. Now I'm going to set this aside and allow this to rest for 10 minutes. I guess that's a very important step in making this batter when it's rested. We're going to make those waffle. Well, they're not gonna be waffle, but choco taco shells. So see at the griddle as soon as this stuff has been rested up. 10 minutes have passed and we are ready to attempt to make these Choco Taco shells. I bought a waffle cone maker online. I mean, I think it was right around $30. It wasn't too expensive. Take a little nonstick, just give it a spritz on the top and bottom. Now I have a quarter cup of that batter we made. Quarter the dead center of this iron here, I guess you call it. Carefully close this so we don't splash it, I guess. Now I'm just going to let this waffle cone iron do what it does for about two minutes or so until it's nice and golden brown. And I'm going to take a little peek here. All right, looks good. Now I have a <laughs> three quarter inch dowel rod. used to be a part of a broomstick that I 
busted out the old saw on. All right, that thing's almost set. I'm go with one more. Might cook it a little less. This dowel rod I have wrapped in foil and it's just suspended between two boxes. There we go, check that out. <laughs> that is cool. That looks, I like the color of this one a little better. Probably should be wearing gloves. So I'm very happy with the color of this shell. While this thing sets up, I'm going to get ready for the actual taco assembly. Okay, I am now armed with two shells. Now, I'll have to admit something. Originally, I wanted to make two tacos in this video. The ice cream you saw me, you know, cut in half, slice and cut in half. Earlier in the video, I underestimated the diameter of the carton. Now, in my defense, I bought the ice cream before that waffle cone maker arrived, so I was thinking all I'd have to do was kind of press, you know, the halves and they would shape, shape out perfectly, which they probably, well, no, they would have, but they would have been too thin. The ice cream would have been too thin, so what I did was I combined those two halves and smooshed them out, did a little bit of trimming, and now I have a perfectly sized slab of ice cream. So for the topping, I have, this is Reese's, or this is what it is, Reese's shell, and this is chocolate peanut butter, keeping that chocolate peanut butter theme going. And what I did was I mixed in the chopped or crushed nuts in this uh, topping, and this is a shell topping. So when it hits the cold ice cream, it's going to you know freeze into a shell or firm up into a shell. One thing I'm concerned about is will it firm up around that cone? I don't think it will. So I may just put it in the freezer after I you know, adorn it with this topping just enough, long enough to firm up, you know, to form the shell around the whole topping, if that makes any sense. It does to me, and that's all it counts. Let's go ahead and make this Choco Taco. So racing with the heat, I've got the taco shell in hand. Let's see if I can get this without making a mess. Here we go. Now, here's where it's going to get tricky here. Very carefully. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the freezer, let it set up just a little bit. And look at that. A little crack right here, but it's not affecting it any. The bottom of the taco is still very much intact, I guess. This is definitely what I would consider an upscale <laughs> Choco Taco. Let's give it a try. Now, I think if you really wanted that Choco Taco experience, I would probably put it in a plastic bag or something and then put it in the freezer and let the shell... Now, I think this is honestly going to make it better because it's something that I don't think they can do when they're producing these on a commercial scale is, you know, the shell is still very taco, like fried taco crisp here. And anybody that's ever had a real taco taco knows that those shells are not crisp. I mean, they're pretty darn soft. I think it's gonna be better this way. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Very, very rich. That's good, very good. Wow. I don't know what to say. This, again, was the first time I ever made one of these, like, literally before your eyes. Um, and I learned a lot, a, a lot of what not to do. Again, the size of the ice cream, sh you know, should have been bigger right off the bat. Um, other than that, I, I'm pretty happy with this. I think, you know, it, it, it's definitely an upscale Choco Taco. The um, Reese's, uh, this stuff here, what is it? The Reese's shell topping. I bought this because it's the only shell topping that my store had at the time. They were out of the other stuff, so it was good. Um, I do think a, for me personally, 
sticking with like a vanilla ice cream with like the ribbon of caramel or something in there would have probably been better for my taste because this was over the top rich. So if you really like the rich, rich, rich stuff, something like this would be better. Uh, but I think, you know, that shell has got a lot of sweet. The, this topping has a lot of sweetness. So a less crazy ice cream, I think, would be definitely better. So they got it right with that. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. If you're not subscribed or if you think you're subscribed, <laughs> check that red button. If you're not subscribed, hit that red button. Make sure you ring the bell. Thumb it up. I will see you on the next video. Cheers.